Research is not something done exclusively in a lab. At Ohio University, artists often depend upon research for their work. Frederick Lewis is an assistant professor at Ohio University's School of Telecommunications. He spent the past 10 years working on one such creative endeavor, a film documenting the life of painter and illustrator Rockwell Kent. Are you now or have you been a member of the Communist Party? No, I am not now and I never have been a member of the Communist Party. And practically everybody knows that. They know it, the courts know it, everybody else knows it. Back in the 30s and 40s, Kent was one of America's most famous artists. He illustrated classics such as Moby Dick and the Canterbury Tales. His paintings hang in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Whitney Museum of American Art, and the Art Institute of Chicago. It was a case of finding much more than I bargained for. And uh, as I, the more I dug into the project, the more I realized that, that it was going to be a much, much larger project than I had anticipated. Lewis traveled the world gathering footage for the project, but it wasn't until he joined Ohio University's faculty that he foresaw an end to his odyssey. He enlisted the help of several students to help research the documentary. But it was Rob Bolas and Chris Reddick who signed on in their senior year and helped Lewis bring the project to a close. Rob and Chris came along just at the right time, really. I took the job here at Ohio University about five years ago, and uh, they were both my students. And uh, Chris came in and uh, did all, virtually all the editing, and Rob wrote the music. So the timing was really perfect. Forty minutes of the three-hour film had already been cut when Chris came on board as editor. For me to be his editor on site, we were able to work at our convenience and really put in a lot of time consecutively and get stuff done. Editing in its elementary form never really changes, uh, whether you're editing a small project or a big project. But the management is definitely an issue. That's where... Uh, with dealing with Frederick's project, a three-hour project, there's a lot of files, there's a lot of shots, there's a lot of graphics, there's a lot of footage. And keeping your arms around all that with a managerial standpoint is very difficult. And I think that's definitely where I was able to grow as an editor. Rob, a video production major with a pension for composing music, scored the film. He began writing the music as a senior and kept composing while he pursued his MBA at Ohio University. The most important thing I learned was really not to take criticism personally. Criticism is a, a part of the collaborative process and in order to make your work better, you have to take other people's input and I think that was the best thing I came away with. Rob is off to make his mark in LA and Chris is working at a production company in Cleveland. Both formed a professional bond with Lewis that is sure to continue. In fact, Chris will edit Lewis's next documentary. Rockwell Kent premiered in November at Ohio University.